here. I'm about to enter the cargo hold. Affirmative. You sure no one saw your tussle with that Russian woman? Olga? I don't think so. She was a tough customer, though. I'll give her that. Still no alarms. I can't believe the Marines still don't know what's going on around here. Well, I can't believe you showed up at the exact same time this mess was happening. How the hell was I supposed to know that Russian mercs were going to hijack a U.S. military tanker tonight? Yeah, but still, Snake, you gotta say... Worst timing... Ever! What can I tell you? I lead a charmed life. At any rate, this is no coincidence. Colonel Gerlukovich is also after the new Metal Gear prototype stashed away on board. Has to be. Ever since Shadow Moses, Metal Gear Rex variants have been popping up all over the globe. <laughs> Thanks to Ocelot selling the technical specs on the black market. But this new amphibious version is much faster and more powerful than anything we've ever seen before. She's pretty much designed to mop the floor with all the other models. An anti-Metal Gear, Metal Gear. All we need is evidence of its existence. Which means... I know, I know. Just take photos. No killing or blowing stuff up. You're no fun. Seriously, Snake. You and I formed philanthropy to expose and get rid of all Metal Gear weapons globally. We have a vital responsibility to the public trust. Kid, we may be officially recognized by the UN, but public perception is that we're still very fringe. Hang on a sec. Jeez, Snake. He's up on that poor Marine. He's no terrorist. He'll be all right. A little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. Whoa. There it is. Metal Gear Ray. Impressive. You should see how sleek this Metal Gear is, Otacon. <laughs> Makes old Rexy look like a dumpster with legs. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure you remove the lens cap before shooting, okay? <laughs> Our boy is right on schedule. Smile for your adoring public, hero. After I'm done with you, they'll all think you're public enemy number one. There's no way out, Snake! Let's finish this! You stole everything from me! Only your death can satisfy my soul! Shadow Moses Virtual Reality Simulation Complete Subject Foxhound Agent in Training Designate Raiden Fifth Mission Iteration Success rate average, 92.3%. 92.3%? Well, that blows. I'll never get into the field if I don't ratchet up that score. Rose. Damn, I forgot to call her back. Hello? Hello, Jack. It's been a long time. Huh? Who is this? Oh, just a blast from your oh-so-colorful past. I've been looking for you for a long time, Jackie boy. They may have taken you away from me, but I knew I'd track you down... eventually. Look, pal, I think you may have the wrong number. Oh, come on, Jack. I know you recognize my voice. You have to. We go back such a long way. I've called to take you home. 
I need your skills, Jack. I need that killer instinct of yours. You do remember how to kill, don't you, Ripper? R Ripper? I, uh... Now listen, you son of a bitch. I don't know who you are, and I don't even- Shut up and listen, boy. I'll not divulge particulars over a cell phone, so I'll have to depend on your dulled subconscious to fill in the necessary blanks. I've already completed the first phase of my masterstroke, and I could use a good soldier like you to help finish it. However, should you foolishly decline this one and only offer to rejoin my organization, I will be forced to assume that you are affiliated with them. And there will be no mercy for that sort of betrayal. Rejoin your... I... What, what are you talking about? Look deep inside yourself, son. I know they haven't buried your past completely. Try to remember who you are. Who you were. The White Devil. Jack the Ripper. My loyal little soldier. Ringing any bells. Time's up. My coded number is on your caller ID. You have two hours to decide. Jack? Hello, Jack? Anybody home? Jack, are you okay? What? what is it you want with me? Oh, oh my god. I... What the hell is wrong with you? Rose, I'm so sorry. I, I have no idea where that came from. Jack, we need to talk. Oh, come on, Rose. I really am sorry. I mean, I know things have been a bit strained between us lately, but... Oh, no, Jack, no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I mean, sure. We have some things we need to work out, but... Anyway, look, I'm not here about our situation. I'm here because the word finally came from up top. You finally got your field assignment, Jack. Command wants you for the Big Shell operation. Foxhound Priority One. Big Shell? Are you serious? Yes, I can't believe it. This is it, honey. This is career-making stuff. This is what I've been... Wait, hang on a second. Why did they send... Me? Why did they send me to tell you all this? Well, that's the part we need to talk about. I've... I've also been assigned to the Big Shell Op. I'm your mission analyst. Jack, please don't be upset. You have to know none of this was my idea. Command felt that for your first solo mission, your contact should be familiar to you. A calming influence during stressful situations. Jack, you and I both know that couples working the same mission is a breach of Foxhound protocol. At first I protested, but... You have no idea how insistent they were. Honestly, Jack, it was either accept the assignment or... or be discharged. Look, I don't want to be trouble for you. If they don't reassign me, then... Then I'll just resign. No, no, Rose, don't. I don't profess to understand the brass's motives, and frankly, it's not my job to. I follow orders, period. I'm fine with you as my mission analyst, really. Jack, listen. About this mission, there's something about it all that's not... What is it, Rose? What's wrong? I... It's nothing. Just be careful, okay? 
I will. Rose, wait. What's the story on the terrorists? Just who am I up against? Well, I was supposed to let Command brief you on this, but it's him, Jack. The one you've been trained to replace. The legend himself. Solid Snake. This is Karen Hojo, Action News 10, reporting live from Hudson Bay. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group of terrorists during a government-sponsored tour attended by the President of the United States, James Johnson. Calling themselves the Sons of Liberty, the terrorists are demanding $30 billion for the safe return of the president and the other hostages. If their demands are not met, they have threatened to destroy Big Shell and ignite the crude, potentially turning Manhattan Harbor into an uncontrollable inferno. And that's not the worst case scenario. We've been told that if the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released, wiping out the entire bay's ecosystem. Big Shell was built two years ago as an offshore cleanup facility after the infamous terrorist Solid Snake blew a hole in an oil tanker just 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan, resulting in the worst environmental disaster in U.S. history. According to Pentagon sources, the Sons of Liberty are reportedly headed up by the very same Solid Snake, who has also claimed responsibility for various other acts of terror, including the Shadow Moses incident and the Paris Hotel bombing that killed former President George Sears. At this hour, the U.S. military has quarantined the Big Shell in a mile-wide perimeter and the Pentagon is expected to respond to the terrorist demand soon. This is Karen Hojo reporting live for Action 10 News. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Let's get the hell out of here. I have a really bad feeling about this. Ryden to Colonel Campbell. I'm just outside the oil fence, awaiting further orders. Good. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate Big Shell and safeguard the President and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. Intel suggests the terrorists are former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad, Dead Cell. We also believe a Russian mercenary army is acting as their operational support. Most likely Gerlukovich Spetsnaz troops. They're a highly trained group, and they have Big Shell under complete control. Who's operating ahead of me? Ahead of you? What do you mean? There's a hole cut through the oil fence. Someone else here besides me wanted to get in pretty badly. I don't know. But it couldn't have been the SEAL rescue team. Rose! That's correct, Colonel. SEAL Team 10 is conducting its own operation on Big Shell's rooftop. As far as we know, you're the only other friendly there. But even the SEALs can't know your true affiliation. Remember, Raiden, Foxhound is a covert body. Should you get caught... I'm on my own. Plausible deniability. Yes, sir. Exactly. I'm just inside strut A of shell one. Looks like there are no sentries posted. I'm gearing up. And these are some funky duds R&D gave me. What did they call it? A smart suit? Jack, excuse me, Raiden. Your skull suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. Data concerning damage to various regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and your intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. Uh, 
Okay, as long as it works, that's fine by me. It's quiet. Too quiet. I've sighted an enemy sentry. Looks like someone already took him out. No shots fired. Minimal struggle. A very clean takedown of Russia's finest. Colonel, there's obviously someone else operating here besides me. Someone with a lot of talent. Colonel? I don't have a response to that. You just need to stay focused on your role in this mission, Raiden. Now, I want you to... Excuse me, Colonel. I've just intercepted a SEAL Team Alpha transmission. There's been a development. This is Alpha Zero. We have the President, safe and sound. What about the package? The package is secure. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Roger that. Huh? Dun, 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 dun. Good lord. Dun, 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 dun. What the? Hail to the chief, soldier. You forgot to play it for your commander-in-chief. A terrible breach of etiquette, really. I am Van. And I am here to teach you some manners. You have to get to the president, Raiden. Ah! Bring him down! Bring him down! He's too fast! I can't get... I've lost communications with SEAL Team Alpha. Ah! Interrupting my midday snack. Am I going to have to teach you manners as well? Where's the president? Oh, don't you worry your little head about him. He's safely tucked away. Now, let's see. How many will it be? Five today? Or rather, six? Stand down or you're dead. Too late for that, boy. Freeze! Don't even think about it. Another seal? Where did you... Bah! No matter. Fresh meat for the grinder. <laughs> you, pretty boy. Where is he? Where did he go? I, I don't know. He moves so fast, I... I... Stay alert. He could be anywhere. Ah, holy shit! Slow, slow, slow. Ah, no you don't! Ah, quiet! Kid, stay down! Give it up, Seal. Blood is in the water. And the shark is still hungry. What's this? I know that scent. Hmm. Interesting that you would turn up here. But not entirely unexpected. Stop! Oh, are you still here? Let him go, now! So, you want this fool, do you? Then take him! Shoot him, now! He's gone. Hold on. I'm a team guy. Calm down. My name is Pliskin, Iroquois Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. I'm Raiden. You're a Navy SEAL? You look familiar. Haven't I seen you before? I doubt it. That skull suit. You Foxhound? I'm afraid I can't answer that. Foxhound disbanded four years ago, you know. Really? That a fact? Yep. You got any field experience, Green Bean? Field? <laughs> no, not really. But hey, I'm not green. I've had extensive VR training. VR, huh? A virtual grunt for the digital age. That's just great. Fresh meat for the grinder, indeed. Vamp, it's Fortune. Yes, Queen. Are you all done cleaning up? Actually, no. Not completely. SEAL Team Alpha has been disposed of. 
but... What? What is it? Have a seat, <coughs> Mr. President. <sighs> Two men escaped, one of whom I think you'll take a particular interest in. And what could possibly interest me about some Navy SEAL? Because, my queen, this SEAL just so happens to be the very same man who murdered General Scott Dorf. <gasps> He's alive and well, running loose on Big Shell. Queen? I heard you. Are you absolutely certain it's him? Of course. I'd know his scent anywhere. Good. I will eliminate SEAL Team Bravo as ordered. But after that, I will not stop until I find and kill him. The son of a bitch who murdered my father. Hey, Lieutenant. Shouldn't you be contacting Bravo? They might want to know what's happened here. Hang on, kid. I think I lost a few pints of blood here. Raiden, Campbell here. What's your status? SEAL Team Alpha are all dead, Colonel. Except for one survivor. A Lieutenant Iroquois Pliskin. And the President? Dead Cell got him back. Damn. This is bad. What about the other SEAL Team? Can't they help find him? No. Bravo is tied up, disarming the C-4 Dead Cell placed all over Big Shell. Which just leaves you, Raiden. You have to secure the President and the package he's carrying with him. Got it. Maybe this Pliskin guy might be able to help me find him. Mm -hmm. All right. But I want you to exercise extreme discretion. No one can know Foxhound is involved. Uh, sure, no problem. Riding out. So who was that blood-sucking freak that kicked our collective ass? Him. That was Vamp. The way he moved... didn't seem human. He's a card-carrying member of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Special Forces anti-terrorist unit created by ex-president George Sears. They were good at what they did. Some would say the best. But around the time their original commander died, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but without proper leadership, they became more and more extreme. They began to go after US allies, even civilians. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Vamp is a real mystery. He's Romanian and a wizard with knives. He joined Dead Cell because he had close relationships with Fortune and her deceased father, Marine Commander Scott Dolph. No one knows the source of his powers or how he cheats death time and time again. But obviously, he's very dangerous. Not to be underestimated, as we've seen firsthand. Fortune is Helen Adolph Jackson, also known as Lady Luck. <laughs> Ironic name for someone surrounded by so much tragedy. She lost her entire family to various catastrophes and blames herself for all of them. Hmm, or more likely, she blames her freakish luck. She seems to have some sort of uncontrollable psychic ability that makes her immune to harm, but at the same time, seems to curse those close to her. Personally, I don't buy any of it, but she apparently believes it to the point that it's really screwed with her head, giving her some kind of death wish. Dead Cell's original commander, Reginald Jackson, was her husband. She took control of the unit soon after his suicide and her father's murder. Fat Man. Now, this guy is certifiable. 
He actually calls himself the Emperor of Explosives, just so you understand what kind of whacked out ego trip we're dealing with here. He's so obsessed about being known as the best, he'll kill anyone he perceives as a threat to his reputation. Fat Man is a genius, no question. But he's also paranoid, narcissistic, and sadistic, which, for an explosives expert, makes for one hell of a dangerous and unpredictable adversary. In fact, there's been long-standing debate as to whether he's even sane at all anymore. Okay, that's quite a collection of disturbed freaks you have there. So why would Dead Cell hijack Big Shell? What's their angle? How should I know? Like I said, they're way out on the lunatic fringe. Well, how about the leader? I mean, they say he's, uh... Um, well, from what I've heard, the leader might actually be... Who? Solid Snake? That's bull. Snake died in the tanker incident. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. How do you not know any of this? So let me get this straight, Junior. An organization that no longer exists sends you to rescue all the hostages on Big Shell and, in the process, neutralize a veteran, highly trained terrorist organization and the Russian private army working for them. All this on your very first mission by yourself without even having been briefed on the most basic intel. <sighs> doesn't make any sense. What are you really doing here? Alpha! Anyone, come in, Alpha! This is Bravo Zero! We are under fire on the BC connecting bridge! Damn, she can't be hit! Alpha, come in! Aren't you going to answer him? Cover Stellman! Lay down suppressive fire! Ah! Well? Look, kid, time is short and my options are limited. So I really don't have any choice but to trust you for the time being. Bravo was escorting a bomb expert, one Peter Stillman, to disarm all the C4 placed by Fat Man all over Big Shell. Uh, obviously, that plan is FUBAR. I'd go myself, but I need some time to recuperate. I lost too much blood. So, it's on you now. You have to get to Stillman quickly, move him safely out of the firefight so he can do his job. What about the President? I have orders. Kid, if that C4 blows, you, me, the President, all of Manhattan, everyone dies. Everyone but me. Same old story. Can't anyone break this curse and release me? Must I endure yet another day of misery? Mr. Stillman, sir, I don't think we can protect you for much longer. What should I do? On my mark, you run for the Strut C dining hall while I cover you. Hide in the kitchen, and we'll try to rendezvous with you there. Here, take my sidearm. But I'm no soldier. What do I do if... Just shut up and listen to me, sir. You have a job to do, and one way or another, you're going to do it, even if that means all of our lives. Get me? Yes. Good. Now get ready. Stillman, go! Die, damn you! Die! I wish. You're the lucky ones today. So very lucky. Don't move! Oh, he's up there, partner. Are you Peter Stillman? Who are you? The name's Raiden. I'm here to protect you, Mr. Stillman. To ensure that you disarm Fat Man's explosives. Thank God. That woman. She was unstoppable. I'm not sure if... Raiden, it's Pliskin. Hold on a sec, sir. 
What is it, Pliskin? I've found some of Fat Man C4. Is Stillman with you? Affirmative. Safe and sound. Good. I'm going to need him to talk me through disarming these bombs. Based off what I've seen, there's way too much C4 on Big Shell for just one man to- Philistine! How dare you sully my craftsmanship with your grubby, grubby hands! Fat Man! Pliskin, what's happening? Nothing, kid. Just some trash that needs taking out. Nuh uh! I really wouldn't do that if I were you. So, a Mexican standoff, is that it? Ooh! A Mexican standoff! Either one of us makes a move, we both die. I like the sound of that. On three, shall we say? And the one. And a two. Oh no. And a... You crazy son of a bitch! Three! Whiskers! That was Fat Man's work. I'm sure of it. Look, Raiden, is it? I trained Fat Man. I know his tendencies inside and out. We need to... Shh. I hear something. Someone's coming. Uh-oh. Oh my god. We're trapped in here. Damn. Not good. I know you're in here, murderer. Show yourself and finish me like you finished off my father. Otherwise, you'll be the one to die. You can't hide forever, bastard. You'll die for what you've done to me. What the hell did you say to her? That chick is pissed. N nothing She wasn't like this earlier when she massacred the seals. She looked calm. Bored, even. It must be you she's mad at. How? I don't remember ever meeting her. Of course, that's not to say I never did. There's a lot I don't remember from my past. Yeah. So what do we do? The only thing we can do. I cover, you make a run for it, okay? Oh, man! Run? Again? You got a better idea? Stillman! Get your ass in gear! Finally. I was beginning to wonder. Wait. You're not the man I'm looking for. Aw, oh, baby, you're hurting my feelings. Uh, and here I thought we had something between us. Idiot! Fool! Uh, moron! Uh, don't you get it? I'm untouchable! No one can hurt me. I can't even hurt me! Lady? I think you've been hurting yourself for a long, long time, whether you realize it or not. <laughs> Granted, I can't touch you, but I sure as hell can touch your gun. How dare you? Murderer or not, I'll kill you for that. Okay, I think she's really mad at me now. Fat man, respond! Uh-oh, it's the king. And his voice doth bear an angry tenor. And how fares your royal majesty? Thy humble servant... Silence, you fool! I want an explanation for that C4 detonation. You were told specifically to sit back and wait for my orders before doing anything! Are you so demented now as to throw away everything we've accomplished over the last few years? Now, now, hold on, let's not get crazy here. <laughs> that was just a taste, an oil d'oeil, if you will, meant to be served before the main course. What are you talking about, you maniac? The C4 was only meant to be a diversion, a ruse. I've no intention of blowing up this facility. Your intentions? 
your intentions? Why does everything have to be about what you want? What about me? What about my needs? My former mentor, Peter Stillman, just arrived here on Big Chef, and I need to kill him. Stillman must be made to see that I have now surpassed him. That my prowess is far beyond his inferior skills. He'll be impressed. Oh, yes, I dare say. He'll be blown away. <laughs> blown away. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I should write that one down. If you want diversions and ruses, your majesty, then you hired the wrong man. I deal in destruction. Fatman, you traitorous bastard! I knew you'd understand. Fare thee well, king. Ciao. Sayonara. Auf Wiedersehen. Adieu. Ha! Ain't I a Stinker! Uh -huh. Oh, it's you! You haven't come to spoil my fun too, have you? On the contrary, my friend. We find your actions to be quite suitable for our purposes. For now. So long as they don't interfere with your orders. We want you to engage the primary, the rookie agent known as Raiden. We want you to test him. Test him, eh? To what limit? The full extent. No hesitation. No holding back. Kill him. Because if you don't, your life is most assuredly forfeit. You... Uh, Colonel, Rose, oh, Mommy, hello. Any tactical advice here would be greatly appreciated. Oh, I'm getting my ass royally kicked right now. Shut up! Oh. That's it. Pick up your gun. Finish me off. I want you to. Queen, we have a problem. Vamp, what is it? It's Batman. He's gone rogue. He intends to blow Big Shell sky. Hi! No! Vamp! Raiden, get your ass out of there. Something's come up. You don't have to tell me twice. What's up, Colonel? I'm afraid our priorities have switched. The president will have to wait. Rose? We received a transmission from one of the dead cell terrorists known as Fat Man. He's splintered off from the Sons of Liberty, and he's threatened to blow up Big Shell. Unless... Unless what? Unless you meet him immediately on the Strut E heliport. You have five minutes. But why me? What does he want? Honestly, I have no idea. Is he surrendering? Looking for amnesty? Well, if he is, he won't get it. Four minutes, 37 seconds. You need to get a move on. Raiden, please be careful. Oh, no. No, that death was meant for me. Why? Why am I the only one who can't die? Daddy, please. I'm so sorry. How much longer do I have to endure this? Haven't I been through enough? to cry, my queen. I died once already. I can't die twice. Ah. 
Fat man. Gone. Bastard must have been holding back. Otherwise, I'd be dead. Hello. What have we here? That woman. She looks like... Impossible. It can't be her. Olga Karlukovich. Impossible. There's no way she could be here. She died two years ago on the tanker. All units, this is Colonel Kurlukovich. Shalashaska has landed. I'm on my way to the tanker hold. Olga, report status. Control room, communications, and the engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold are secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. And the explosives? All in place. Excellent. Once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. Your part in this mission is over. You are to leave at once. No. This is where I belong. With my unit. I have nowhere else to go. Holy sh... Meryl? No, of course it's not her. Man, what am I on? Father, I want to stay and fight. It is not your choice to make, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You'll be on the next helicopter out of here now. Damn it! Freeze! Hands over your head. Now, toss your gun overboard. Slowly. American man, you're all the same. Stop fidgeting. Keep your hands high. For what? You shoot women, too? It's just a tranquilizer gun. You'll be fine in a few hours. Damn! Snake! You okay? Fine, Otacon. Just tell me again why I can't use bullets. Well, because... Never mind! What is she doing here, two years later? It looks like she's taken command of her father's private army. Probably rented them out to Dead Cell to help take over Big Shell. Typical mercenary. Like father, like daughter. Olga. That means Ocelot can't be far behind. Great. I'm gonna have to keep a real close eye on her. Ryder, wait! It's me! Stillman, you okay? Hanging in there. Barely. There's no time. Come with me, quickly! Fat Man demands that I meet him on the heliport, or he'll blow up Big Shell. Do you have any idea what this could be about? No. Not unless you're another explosives expert. What do you mean? Yeah, he's insanely competitive to the point of trying to kill off all his peers, right? I heard about that. Wants to be the best in the world, even if it means killing everybody in his way. But I'm certainly no bomb expert, so what does he want with me? Well, I know he wants me dead. Badly. That I can guarantee. 
Hey, that's right. I'd wager that more than anyone, he'd want to show up his old teacher. Try to keep up, Pete. I've got an idea. The primary is headed for the heliport, as expected. The board is set, just as you specified. Now, what of my... But you promised a show of good faith. I have to see. No, I need assurance. No, please don't. Yes, of course. I understand completely. He won't suspect a thing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, boom! Excellent timing. I'm quite the stickler for punctuality. I am Fat Man! I am the greatest that humanity has to offer, and the lowest! What do you want? What do I want? What do I want? What a silly question! I want your best young man. I want to see if you've got guts, soldier. I want to see what you're made of. Literally. And what better way to find out than by blowing you to smithereens? So, what do you think of Fat Man's little toys? Crazy ball bombs! You'll laugh yourself silly. You'll blow yourself to hell! Woo! Did you feel that brissance? Breathtaking, isn't it? I'll take that as a note. What's the matter with you? Can't your tiny brain even begin to grasp the scope of imagination and artistry required to create such marvelous little playthings? Ugh! No, of course you can't. You're just like all the rest. Tasteless, talentless, and dim-witted. And yet, always thinking you know better. Always thinking you are better. It was the same thing back when I was in the NSA's covert training program. The other child prodigies in my class were far less gifted, but certainly no less conceited. Especially my counterpart, Little Boy. That cocky little punk was so damn sure he was better than me. Turns out, he was wrong. Anyway. Once word of little boy's unfortunate circumstances got out, Fat Man quickly became a name to respect. Two, one! Oh shit! A name to fear! Fear, fear, fear! Oh, how they all fear me now! My so-called colleagues! Ha! Jealous bastards! The whole lot of them! <laughs> I hear what they say behind my back. They don't think I do, but I hear things. Terrible, awful things. That I'm erratic. Unstable! <laughs> Insane! <laughs> ah, isn't that rich? Me? Insane? You forgot delusional, paranoid, sadistic, and contemptible. A true malignant narcissist, if ever there was one. Stillman! You! You're not supposed to be here! But I am here, son. And I've got one final lesson to teach you. Mentor to protege. You? Teach me? 
the impertinence! I'm far beyond you, old man! There's nothing you can teach me that I don't already know! Prove it! I just assembled this IED three minutes ago. Disarm it. If you can. What? You want me to disarm this? This laughable construct? Ha! Amateur hour! Feh! Just look at this stupid design. So pedestrian, so shoddy. Almost out of time. Sh shut up, you hack! Absurd wiring scheme, bogging me down. You know if it's too difficult, I'll be happy to show you how it's done. Ah, you son of a bitch! I'll see your blown out carcass splayed all over this heliport after I'm finished. Wait a minute! This... this isn't real! This is a... Dud. As in worthless and broken. As in you, Jagoff. Raiden, step aside. What? I know him. He always prepares a contingency in case something goes wrong. In his case, a fatal contingency. Oh, man. Can you disarm it? I think so. I hope so. Maybe. Thing is, despite all my taunting, Fat Man is remarkably gifted. Looks like he daisy-chained a remote trigger to the C4 firing train. If he blows, all a big shell goes with him. Huh? Uh, Raiden! Little help! No! Not this time! Raiden! Oh! You won't take this moment away from me! I will beat you! Even if I have to kill everyone to do it! Even if I have to destroy the entire world! Enough! Finish it! Pretty cold, Raiden. I didn't think you had it in you. Neither did I, actually. Okay. Here we go. Did it. Whew. Ah, nice work, Pete. Raiden, it's Campbell. What's happening? Everything's all right, sir. The fat man is finished, thanks to Stillman here. What? But that's not... He's not... Damn it, Raiden. Stillman is supposed to be disarming the C4 inside Big Shell. Colonel, it's really no big deal. Everything worked out fine and... Wrong! Helping you beat Fat Man was not Stillman's role. From now on, if I give you an order, you will follow it to the letter. No improvisation, no external aid, no deviation whatsoever. Do you get me? No. No, sir, I don't. Jack, don't. Quiet, Rose. What do you mean by Stillman's role, Colonel? The way you phrase that makes this seem like Enough. this is... Enough! I won't tolerate any more insubordination. I'll say this only one time. You will follow my orders with utmost precision, or you will be court-martialed and thrown into the brig upon your return. Now, do you get me? <sighs> yes, sir. Good. Now. I want Stillman dispatched to the Strut F warehouse. There's a large nest of C4 there that needs defusing. Rose? Uh, camera intercepts show no enemy sentries in that area. So he should be reasonably safe without your presence. Okay. So what are my orders then? What should I do? Get back to your primary mission objective. Rescue the President. Vamp. 
Did the president input the password to the black case? Yes, King. He'll need to confirm it in one hour. After that, he is as expendable as any other hostage. Good. Just make sure you keep him alive until then. Of course, King. Fortune, what's the status of the unit? When can we go online? Almost complete. The code has already been entered. All we need now is to boot the system. Good. And with Fat Man neutralized, it should remain secure for the time being. What about the intruder? He's certainly not a Navy SEAL. He's with Foxhound, I suspect. Or some perverse variation of what Foxhound used to be when it still existed. No worries. I have a fairly good idea who he is. And how to control him. Leave him to me. We've also had multiple sightings of yet another intruder, a cyborg ninja, similar to the one involved with the Shadow Moses incident. It's possible this ninja could be working for them. Intensify patrols. I don't want any disruptions when we're this close to the finish line. Ocelot. Yes. Kill a hostage, please. And make sure you videotape it for the next news cycle. I want the media preoccupied so we can facilitate our true objective unabated. With pleasure, King. A most excellent ploy, using Stillman to defeat Fat Man. Who are you? Strategic adaptation to take advantage of an enemy's weakness. An unanticipated tactic in your case, but effective nonetheless. Identify yourself. I am like you. I have no name. Are you Foxhound? I am neither enemy nor friend. I've been ordered to assist you. Within certain limits. Ordered by whom? Why won't you identify yourself? There's no need for you to know. I'll decide what I need to know. You are not yet trusted to make such decisions. As I said before, I am only here to provide backup, including relaying of necessary intel. Such as the current location of the president. What? Where is he? He was moved to the first floor of Shell 2's core section. A highly secure area. Why are you telling me this? Must I repeat myself? There's no reason for me to believe anything you say. You understand that? If you have any other leads, you are free to follow them. But I suggest you move quickly. The Sons of Liberty have nuclear weapons. Nukes? Dead Cell has nukes? You did not find their continuing presence here unusual. Even with the president as hostage, Big Shell is essentially an island. The Sons of Liberty have no visible means of escape. Shall I spell it out for you? They have the arsenal. And now, they have the means to use it. The President and the Black Case? Why the hell would the President bring the case on an inspection tour of Big Shell? What you should be asking is how they can activate the Black Case without the President's complicity. What do you mean? The Black Case's password is nothing less than the physiological vital signs of the President. The password entry itself cannot be performed unless brainwave patterns and heartbeats fall within normal parameters, rendering chemical and other forms of coercion impractical. So, the only way that he can enter the password is if he does so willingly. What are you saying? That the President of the United States is working with the terrorists? That he's a traitor? 
I'm saying that nothing on Big Shell is what it seems. Those nuclear weapons weren't brought on board by Dead Cell. They were here from the very beginning. What? Why would a decontamination plant house nukes? This is no decontamination plant. Big Shell is, and always has been, the R&D sector for the newest incarnation of Metal Gear. A new Metal Gear? Well, that's just great. So what do the Suns want? What's their ultimate goal here? I cannot say. Can't? Or won't? I feel a massive headache coming on. Can you at least tell me where the other hostages are? The hostages are being held in the B-1 conference hall, situated in the Shell-1 core. It's a dangerous area. The core is more heavily guarded than any other section of the Big Shell. What about her, Comrade Ocelot? No, not her. Kill... that one. And make it messy. The more shocking it is, the more the news media will lap it up. And the King's orders regarding the President? Leave him be. He must stay alive and in good health until the password has been entered. After that, I will string him up and use him for target practice. Ugh. You! Solid Snake! No, that's not him. It's Liquid. How can this be? Liquid! Come now, Ocelot. Is that any way to greet an old friend? After all, we're almost family now. I'm sure your, I mean our, father would agree. Father? The sorrow. Son. No. No son of mine would have allowed this mad man to take control of his will. No son of mine would have been so pathetically weak. A terrible thing to disappoint one's father. Believe me, I know. Shut up! Are you talking to me or yourself? Madness. Just go away! Both of you! Let me be! Very well, Ocelot. Just know that I hold the upper hand now. Remember that well. Or you live to regret it. Regret it to your everlasting sorrow. No! No! Leave me alone! Comrade Ocelot, please, wake up! What? Where? Where did he go? He? Who are you referring to, sir? Sir? Madness. Nothing. Get back to work! Fliska, you there? Affirmative. What's your status? Fat man's been disposed of, so that's one less problem we have to worry about. Good. What about Stillman? He's working on disarming the remaining C4. We have another big problem, however. A huge one. I just learned that Big Shell is actually... A research facility to develop a new Metal Gear. Yeah, I know. Well, how did you... Rook, unlike you, my superiors provide me with real, usable intel. So what do we do? Forget the other hostages for now. The President is top priority. We have to get to him before he inputs the access code for the nukes. Do you think the President is really working with the terrorists? Maybe. Maybe not. I'm thinking there might be a third party. You really shouldn't worry about your young friend. He's being well taken care of. You. I heard you were dead. You should know that death cannot stop me. So... Before we perforate each other, just answer me one question. Just whose side are you on this time? The same side 
I've always been on. Mine. Uh-huh. But there's definitely someone else pulling your strings. So, pardon me if I'm just a tad skeptical at this point in time. You certainly did not have to respond to my communique. And you did not have to come to Big Shell. Yeah, but I've been known to put myself into really stupid situations. So don't start patting yourself on the back just yet. Trust is something you earn, capiche? Very well. Take it. You'd better not be yanking my chain. Don't you dare question my integrity in this matter. If they knew, if they had any notion of what I have done here today, they... they would... Okay, okay, take it easy. I'll take a look. If it is what you say it is, we'll proceed. Pliskin, come in! I'm here, kid. Just hang tight and I'll rendezvous with you shortly. Well, hurry up. This whole situation here is getting out of hand. Apparently, there's a covert Metal Gear project in development on Big Shell. We need to regroup and figure out how to handle it. He doesn't know. You're using him. No, wait. They're using him. <sighs> Don't they use us all? Not me. Never. Yes, of course not. And that is why I approached you. You are and always have been the X Factor. The one variable they have never been able to control. Raiden, however, is another matter entirely. Mr. Stillman, it's Raiden. Where are you? Core B1 filtration chamber. How's it going? Better than expected. No guards are posted here, so I've got free reign to disarm Fat Man's remaining C4. Pretty basic bomb assembly. Nothing I can't handle. Ah! Uh oh! Now you've done it. No way. I am Fat Man! And this is a recording for the witless wonder who's foolishly attempting to defile my works of art. What the hell? You have just triggered a microwave proximity explosive with a seven foot range and a 90 second timer. In other words, you're already dead. And there's nothing you can do about it. Damn! Pete, what's going on? Brighten up. I fell for it. He got me. So help me, the son of a bitch got me after all. You now have only one minute left to reflect upon your incredible stupidity in attempting to challenge me! Fat Man set a booby trap. A bomb within a bomb. Never seen anything like it. Ingenious. Pete! Get the hell out of there! Now! But don't feel too bad. Just comfort yourself with the knowledge that you never really had a chance against me in the first place. It's too late. I'm sorry. It's funny. Somehow I always knew he'd find a way to... Goodbye, Peter. What? I always knew that I would win in the end. My god. Oh no! Stillman, are you there? Come on, Pete, talk to me! Looks like you backed the wrong horse, son. You! 
The one who called my cell phone. You're the boss here. The leader of the Sons of Liberty. Very good. You always were a bright boy, Jack. But not in this case. Remember, I gave you the chance to do the right thing. Once a great warrior. Now, nothing but a messenger boy for the Patriots. Patriots? Oh, please, Ripper. This ignorant act of yours really has become tiresome. Don't. Don't call me that. Oh, did I touch a nerve? Those long-lost memories of yours finally bubbling to the surface? Who are you, really? Stop playing dumb. You know who I am. Solid. Solid Snake? Ha! No! That is not Solid Snake! Well, well, well! What a pleasant surprise! Brother! Save it, pal. You're no brother of mine. Don't say you've forgotten me! Snake! I knew it! Some things are better left forgotten. Right, take cover! That the best you can do, Snake? Just give the big boss impersonation a rest. Brother, I'm a whole different game from Liquid. I am Solidus! Greatest of the Les Enfants Terribles! That's supposed to mean something to me. Did I get him? Jeez. What the? Snake! Something's coming! Uh. Oh, man! It will take much more than that to stop me, Snake! Otacon, we're in trouble. Snake! You can't take down a Harrier with a Kasatka helicopter? No, you think? Right, catch! What do you want me to do with this? What the hell do you think? I'm not gonna have a clear shot while trying to dodge that Harrier, so you've got to do it! You've got to take Solidus out! I'll drown you fools for interfering! Incoming! Way too close. Come on, take the bait. I need to give Raiden time to fire. Enough. Bam. Eliminate him. This helicopter keeps interfering with the shot. Your toes, kid. I can't hold them off forever. It's over, Ripper. I have you now. Damn it, Snake! Where'd you go? What? He's too close. Take evasive action. <laughs> ah! Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Ryden, look out! What the hell? Something's coming up. The new Metal Gear! It's operational! Ryden, take cover! Right. Grab the rope and hang on. King. Solidus. Run. How 
appropriate. Got him! Go! Go! You know what they say, Ripper, my boy. An eye for an eye. Fire missiles! Now! Holy! Hold on, kid. We're gonna land this bird. Shall we pursue? No. Order Ray to descend. Once we activate the unit, nothing else will matter. Especially them. Now, take me to a medic. Thanks for the save, Snake. I've never seen anything like that. Ah, you seen one giant killer robot, you've seen them all. You did good out there, kid. I... thanks. You know, I always knew it was you, Snake. But what I can't understand is why you went into hiding in the first place. I mean, what happened to you, Snake? What went wrong on that tanker two years ago? It's a long story. But I suppose you've earned the right to know. You've seen the news about it. Everyone has. But that's not what really happened. Not even close. I was on a mission to gather evidence on a new Metal Gear prototype, hidden away on board a disguised tanker ship. The whole thing was just a front by the U.S. Marines to transport it to an undisclosed location, which meant that the window of opportunity to actually get to it was closing fast. Unfortunately, there were others who knew this too. Ex-Russian Army, mercenaries, they hijacked the ship before any Marine counterforce could be mustered, and I just happened to be caught in the middle. They were led by Colonel Sergei Gerlukovich and his daughter, Olga, who I managed to bump into just outside of the cargo hold. Olga and I, well, let's just say we had a bit of an exchange. After knocking her cold, I moved inside to finally find what we were all after. Metal Gear Ray. You just saw it. So I took the necessary photos. I thoroughly documented what was going on to make our case. Little did I know, I was being spied on myself. Revolver Ocelot, the real mastermind behind this hijacking scheme. A sneaky bastard was photographing my every move to place me at the scene of his crime. To set up the frame job. Gotta hand it to him, it was perfect. But I was oblivious. I just kept snapping away while Dolph, the Marine General in charge of Ray's development, was giving a long-winded speech to his troops. That was when all hell broke loose. Don't move. Drop all your weapons. What the? Move and you die. Understand? Stand down, man. Do as he says. General Scott Dolph. Well, well. Lukovic, what the hell is going on here? It is truly a pleasure to see you again, comrade. How is that lovely daughter of yours? What does she call herself again? Destiny. Her name is Fortune. What's this all about, Sergei? Simply reclaiming stolen goods, comrade. Metal Gear Ray may have been paid for by American dollars, but the technology that gave birth to it was developed by us. It belongs to Russia. So then, you're here to steal it? 
Like a petty criminal? And what would your daughter Helga say about that? It's Olga, not Helga. Mock me again, General. And I may decide we are not such good friends anymore. This is insane, Sergei. Don't do this. I'm sorry, comrade, but it must be so. Russia will rise again, and Ray is the key. <laughs> Sorry, Colonel. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear Ray to the Russians. I've come to take it back! Shalashaska? What? Yes. Ray will be returned to its rightful owners. The Patriots. The Patriots? How is that possible? Ocelot, have you sold us out? I was never in your employ, Colonel. Are you in league with that bastard, Solidus? Hush now, Colonel. You know we don't speak of the former president in such a disrespectful manner. I believe I shall have to teach you a lesson. This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it completely out of the water. At the mere touch of this button. Gurlukovich, you and your daughter will die today. Son of a... Die, you traitorous dog! My, my, Sergei. Looks like you were long overdue for retirement. Anyone else? No? Good. Then listen carefully, all of you. This ship is still in lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. I'd start paddling now if I were you. That did it. I'd had enough hiding and spying. If I was going to have any chance of stopping Ocelot, it had to be now. Ocelot! <clears throat> well, if it isn't the Aaron boy, finally showing his face. And that was when it happened. No! Not now! Was it the sound of my voice that triggered it? Ah, yes. Much better. So, it's been a while, brother. You certainly look the worst for wear. A bloody mess, I dare say. Impossible. You died at Shadow Moses. Good. Then I don't have to reintroduce myself. Liquid? How? Surgical arm graft, of course. After that ninja cut off his hand, Ocelot felt he needed to maintain his reputation as a lethal gunslinger. So he chose to attach mine. However, the fool was never made aware of the consequences for such an affront. Do you think I'm stupid? How can someone's personality live on through an arm? Our raw materials are unique, Snake. You never did fully grasp Big Boss's genetic. Ouch! Get out of my mind, Liquid! My, but Ocelot is an ornery one. I can't begin to tell you how difficult it is to squelch his will. Now, where was I? You were busy talking your way into the nuthouse. 
But you don't have to. I'll take you there myself. Think again! Unfortunately, our time together is at an end. I'd ask you to join me, but Ray only seats one. Farewell, brother! Otacon, we have a problem. One way or another, Metal Gear Ray was getting out of there. to get free and clear of the sinking tanker. But even so, the damage was done. Not only did Ocelot and Solidus get away scot-free with Metal Gear Ray, but my face was plastered on every newspaper worldwide. Mass murderer, terrorist, public enemy number one. So I had to go underground for a couple of years, keep a very low profile, and patiently wait for Solidus to make his move. So the whole thing was just an elaborate setup. I had no idea. I do have a few questions, though. Who exactly are the Patriots? I've heard of them before, but I... Raiden, it's Campbell. Come in. Hang on, Snake. I have to take this. Foxhound? Hmm, something like that. Otacon, you heard everything. Yeah. I did. Guess he knows the whole story now. <sighs> Not the whole story. Not by a long shot. There's still so much that kid doesn't know, or is pretending not to know. Either way, he'll learn the hard way when he finally gets hold of the president. No! It's not possible. It's time, Mr. President. Big Boss. No, not Big Boss. My God, George. Your eye. What? Don't call me those names. Big Boss is dead. And George Sears was just an alias I used as president. I am Solidus Snake, now and forevermore! Well, Solidus, or whoever you are, you can have the presidency back. I would have never succeeded you had I known about them. Yes, it's true. Both our administrations had to endure their nightmarish hegemony. But unlike you, I actually did something about it. Covertly gathering the power and resources I would need to eventually usurp their rule. And it was all going quite well. Until they learned of my complicity in attempting to steal Metal Gear Rex from Shadow Moses. I knew then it was just a matter of time before I would be removed from office. So I had no choice but to beat them to the punch. The Paris Hotel bombing. An assassination smokescreen meticulously staged to enable my escape from their retribution. It was perfect, even managing to smear Solid Snake as the terrorist responsible. Presumed dead, I went underground, and with Ocelot's help gained control of Dead Cell and Colonel Golukovic's private army to form the Sons of Liberty. From there, I bided my time, knowing that my opportunity would soon arrive. That same opportunity knocks for you, James. I want you to understand. I'm not doing this because it's the right thing to do. I'm doing this because there's just no other option. I sat in that damned Oval Office for years, 
Just letting those criminals walk all over me and the country. I... I just couldn't stand by and allow it to continue anymore. I know. It was an untenable situation for both of us. But with this, you can fight back. The power is in your hands now. And all it'll cost me is being forever known as a traitor and a terrorist. I'm afraid there's no turning back now, Mr. President. One of their agents is on board, and I'm not sure if I can stop him before he does irreparable damage to our cause. Too much is at stake. We must ensure that the unit goes online. Yes. Yes, of course. It's done. The code is entered. Very good. Our liberation has begun. How are you doing, kid? Doing? I'm crammed into a claustrophobic air vent that probably goes nowhere. How the hell do you think I'm doing? Hey, one of us has to see if it connects to the President's holding cell. And Lord knows, you're a hell of a lot skinnier than I am. Keep me posted. Snake out. Otakon, do we have a confirmation? Good news and bad news, Snake. The good news is the data that Ninja gave you checks out. And the bad. My sister Emma is one of the senior programmers for the Metal Gear project. Just as we thought. She's most likely one of the hostages on board. Snake, we need to find her. She may be our only hope to find a way to stop this new Metal Gear. Mm, great. Another Emmerich. Another Metal Gear. <laughs> That's some family you got there, Otacon. Who? President Johnson. So... You're finally here. Go ahead and be done with it. I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. Are you all right, sir? Are you injured? Uh, I don't understand. You are the Patriot's assassin, aren't you? Uh, no, sir. I'm with Foxhound. I'm here to rescue you. Foxhound? I see. This must be part of the S3 program. Look, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched in the sequence myself. So it's true. You are working with them. If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. But right now, they're just keeping me alive until my vital signs are confirmed. But you're the President of the United States. How could you even... Son, I'm just a figurehead. I have no power. The real power is in the hands of the Patriots. They're the only truth behind the fraud that is the U.S. government. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. Look, I know this is hard to believe, but it's the God's honest truth. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown only what they want them to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at placating the public just enough so that the silent majority remains silent. No one knows who their actual members are. Not even me. The orders the Patriots send me come down from a series of untraceable cutouts. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men known as 
the Wise Men's Committee. I don't care who or what they are. Nothing you've done justifies acts of terrorism. You don't understand. My intention was to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But Metal Gear Ray isn't enough of a- Ray! Good lord! Don't you have any idea what's going on here? Ray is not the new Metal Gear. This is the new Metal Gear. What do you mean? You're standing on top of it, son. This entire facility, all of Big Shell, is just camouflage for the newest and most powerful incarnation of Metal Gear. Arsenal Gear. That's right, Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress, carrying a couple of thousand warheads, and protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced Ray units? So now the anti-Metal Gears are actually guarding a Metal Gear? Ironic, isn't it? But it's more than just a military tool they're guarding. Arsenal Gear also contains the most powerful AI ever conceived. Once it taps into and co-ops independent computer systems, it will control the global flow of information, firmly establishing the Patriot's rule in perpetuity. Bottom line, Arsenal will be the foundation of the Patriot's power base, the key to their supremacy. Oh, wow. You gotta give me a second here. This is a lot to digest. No. We have to do this now. What the? There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent a nuclear strike. Stop! Do it, damn it! That's your role! <laughs> no! But I didn't... That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or should I say, ex-president. Ocelot! You son of a... Don't test me, carrier boy. My skill with this coat transcends mere linear trajectories. Three banks, corner pocket. Understand? Now lie face down with your hands behind your head. You have proven to be quite the annoying. I thought I made it clear that your part in this play is over, Mr. President. Now stop ruining the script. Insolent whelp! I told you not to test me, boy. Looks like you don't have what it takes after all. What the? Leave this to me. You! But you died! I'll keep him busy. Get away. Hurry! This is getting insane. I'd better find Snake. Snake, it's Otacon. I've hacked into the terrorist communications. Emma is being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. What's your status? Wet and miserable. The place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I'm gonna have to dive and take a look-see.
splash around and to be noisy. You can't surprise me. Nothing surprises me anymore. Vamp! Shouldn't you be dead? Unfortunately, hell had no vacancies. Well, well, solid snake. This should be an amusing diversion. Easily worth the wait. You knew I was coming. You and that boy have become a nuisance. We can't let you interfere with Arsenal gear. The girl is just ahead. She's of no use to us now. But she still serves well as bait. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Crazy Ivan? You mean Ocelot? Final check for Arsenal activation is huh? complete. All Arsenal personnel report to your stations. <sighs> Too late. Repeat, all Arsenal personnel report to your stations. Damn it! Time to face the music snake. Take a good long look at your grave. Fool! Did you honestly think you could stop us from activating Arsenal gear? It ain't active yet, pal. There's still time. Time is a luxury you can no longer afford, my friend. Once the Sons of Liberty control Arsenal, the Patriots will be forced to bow down before us. The world will finally be free of their oppression. Free to enjoy all the sunshine and lollipops that a lovable terrorist organization like yours will provide instead? <laughs> I think I can speak for the rest of the world. Blow it out your ass. Hush now. Your incessant blathering is only stoking my thirst. A thirst that desperately needs slaying. <laughs> <laughs> Getting all hot and bothered, huh? Come on. Why don't you just cool off? Otacon, it's Snake. I cleared a path to your sister. Get in touch with Raiden for me. Raiden, it's Campbell. What's the status of the President? He's dead, sir. But he did manage to activate the Black Case. Also, I'm afraid he was complicit with the Sons of Liberty in the Big Shell terrorist plot. A traitor. I see. We'll just have to deal with the repercussions of that later. At any rate, I commend your actions in eliminating his threat. What? I didn't do it. Ocelot killed him. Really? Well, just as long as it was done. I'm not an assassin, Colonel. You are what we made you. You perform the tasks we deem necessary. Why don't you tell me who this we is, Colonel? Raiden, please. There are times when we have to do things we don't like. For a greater cause. <sighs> I can't believe this crap. Snake would never... Don't let your guard down around him. He's not part of the simulation and not to be trusted. Simulation? Colonel, what are you talking about? And didn't you work with Snake before? I'm just telling you to be careful, soldier. Nothing is what it seems. Yeah, I'm starting to see that now. Listen to the Colonel, Raiden. We're just looking out for your best interests. Raiden, it's Snake. Come in. Yeah? Well, my best interests currently lie with this transmission. Colonel, Rose, it's been enlightening. Thank you. Riding out. 
Jack, wait! Snake, it's Raiden. What's up? I may have found a way to stop the new Metal Gear, but I need you to secure the computer room on the Shell 1 core in order to do it. Affirmative. I'm on my way. Emma Emmerich. Huh? You have to be Solid Snake. My brother told me all about you. <sighs> well, don't believe half of what he says. I'm really not that bad of a guy. Otacon, I mean Hal, told me you helped program Arsenal Gear. We need to hack into it to stop it before it's launch capable. Stop Arsenal? Wow. I don't know. Arsenal possesses a dynamic artificial immune system that's capable of neutralizing any core function incursions. Plus, after it went online, it immediately locked out external access to its own network. Even from Arsenal programmers like myself. However, I just might have snuck a little trapdoor inside the code that I can open up to plant a virus. Let's see what we have here. Ah, here it is. This is one of my best and nastiest. But it operates more like a worm cluster than a virus. A delayed effect autonomous program designed to invade Arsenal's cerebrum and render its control functions useless. Uh, sure. Whatever you say, kiddo. Just as long as it does the job. Man, you're Otacon's sister, all right. Problem is, I can't remote access Arsenal from here. I'm way ahead of you. The computer room is being prepared for us as we speak. Stay behind me. What's wrong? Nothing. Let's get the hell out of here. The connecting bridge on the upper level was destroyed. We'll have to take the oil fence pontoon bridge at Strut L. So, what's Arsenal Gear's computer system supposed to do anyway? It's a massive data processing system designed to administrate digital information on a global scale. Magazines, newspapers, television, the internet. You name it, Arsenal will control it. Manipulating the public to fall in line with the Patriots' world-domineering agenda. <laughs> so that's why they created it. And why the Sons of Liberty want it so badly. But the AI isn't quite ready yet. It still lacks the necessary functions for dealing with certain scenarios. To remedy that, plans were made for a major experiment to provide complex data for it to study. Something called S3, I think. Anyway, once Arsenal gets going, it won't be easy to stop. It's protected by an army of Metal Gear Rays armed with just about every munition known to man, including nuclear weapons, and is fully equipped with cyber terrorist countermeasures. Lucky for us, I'm not your average cyber terrorist. Vamp! Emma, look out! Snake. You have underestimated me so badly. Insult to injury, I believe it's called. Well, now it's my turn. But in her case, I think I'll just forego the insult. Ah! No! Drop the gun or I pull the knife and she bleeds out. You don't want her to die, do you? Snake! How? It hurts! Oh, it hurts. Isn't that just heartbreaking? Hmm. What about when I twist it oh so slowly? Ah! Emma! You vicious son of a bitch. You have failed, Snake. The girl will die. Arsenal will be ours. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it.
Enough of your crap! Just die already! Raiden, the knife is out. Get ready for us in the computer room. I'm gonna need something, anything, to stop this bleeding. You're losing it, Ocelot. I mean, really. You might as well just let go and hand me the reins already. Didn't you see what happened down there? He's doing it again. Snake is picking everyone off one by one, just like he did on Shadow Moses. Mantis, Wolf, Raven, Octopus, Vamp. Oh, the list goes on. As I recall, Liquid, you're on that list too. Dead as a doornail. Just like all the others. Ah, but that's just not true, now is it? I live inside you now, Ocelot. Both of us cellmates in that skull prison of yours. However, we can't both exist in this crowded space much longer. A mental breakdown is imminent. Very soon, one of us will be forced to vacate the premises for good. And I think we both know who that will be. Better start packing your bags. Shut up! Shut up! Shalashaska, who are you talking to? Talking? Uh, just, um, no one. Never mind. And where is he? Where is Vamp? Vamp? Vamp is dead. No. I don't believe it. You should. I saw Snake and the boy kill him with my own eyes. <laughs> Compose yourself, Fortune. You'll have your revenge on Snake soon enough, I assure you. Look at it this way. At the very least, you'll have the boy at your disposal. You mean Raiden? What is she talking about? Just a special arrangement. Courtesy of Olga. I've let Ripper run free long enough. It's high time he and I had a nice long chat. Ocelot, I want you to make preparations on Arsenal for his arrival. Understood? Yes, brother. Did he just call me brother? How's she doing? Not good, but she's a fighter. Emma. I'm almost done uploading the virus. Sorry, Hal. Uh, I feel so weak. It's okay. You're doing great. Snake, is she? I've done everything I could. She doesn't have much time. I'm sorry, Hal. Guys, you better get over here. Hal? Yes, Emma. I'm here. It's done. The virus is active. I'm gonna close my eyes for a bit. I'm very tired now. That's it. You rest now, Emma. You, you, you've earned it. Snake. Something's wrong here. The upload stopped at 90%. What happened? I don't know. I don't think Emma made any mistakes. It's possible an arsenal antibody might have recognized the worm cluster and killed it. So now what? What if the virus doesn't work? We either destroy arsenal gear or take out Solidus and his men. Please tell me there's a third option. Attention, Arsenal Gear is ready for launch. Evacuate the upper levels immediately. Sounds like they're cutting Big Shell loose. We have to get aboard Arsenal before it starts moving. What about the hostages? Otacon, I'm sorry, but you gotta get to the hostages and lead them out to the evacuation area, now! What about my sister? 
Listen, I know this is difficult, but we only have a few minutes left before Arsenal rises from the riverbed and starts plowing through Big Shell deck by deck. Your sister's chances. Please, don't say it. I, I understand what I have to do. I'll take care of it. See that hatch, kid? That's our way to Arsenal. Then how the hell do we open it? Don't worry. I've made special arrangements. Good luck, Hal. I'll be in touch. Emma. So what is this special arrangement? It's... Just a little something I cooked up a while back. As a matter of fact, you play an integral part in it. Don't turn around. The ninja! Get down on your knees and put your hands behind your head, slowly. I'm sorry, Raiden, but this is the way it has to go down. Snake, what the hell is going on? You've changed sides? I don't recall ever saying I was on your side, kid. We still need you to take care of a few things. Try not to fail us. Who? That face. Night, night, Brock. Well done, Olga. He never suspected a thing. Happy birthday, Ripper. for each year of my life. Solidus calls them Liberian terrorist scum. He tells me they've killed innocent Americans, that they deserve to die. I don't care. I only know what I have to do. I lightly caress the man's neck with the edge of the blade, as though preparing for the first stroke of a shave, feeling it out, searching for just the right. Ten. That's it, boy. Keep going. Nine. Blow them all out. You don't get your wish. I don't care. Eight. My wish has never come true anyway. That's my little Jack the Ripper. Solidus. My so-called father. He seems proud of me. I don't care. Seven. I'm ten years old today. And I don't care about anything anymore. Right, right. stop! Don't give in to this! Colonel Campbell? This was twenty years ago. How can he be here? You mustn't allow this to continue, Raiden. Solidus is tampering with your mind. Don't believe any of this. All this, all you see here now, it's all a lie. Please, Jack, listen to the Colonel. He's trying to help you. Rose, but how? Don't believe one word of their crap, Ripper. I can promise you, this is all very real. This is 1990. This is Liberia. This is your past. End of story. But... But I... Look at me, boy. Who are you gonna believe? Me? Or these Patriot spies? I... I don't... Lies, Raiden. All lies. I raised you as if you were my own son, Jack. Who the hell are they? Do you really know who they are? I... I don't... I don't care. I don't... No! 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 Interesting. 
A third party is attempting to restrict access to his cerebral implants. Someone or something doesn't want me tampering with his memories. But how is that possible? Arsenal Gear's hull is impenetrable to any outside signals. Look internally then. Check the logs to make sure no one is tampering with Arsenal's AI. Yes, King. Where am I? How did I get here? Ah, welcome back to the land of the living, Ripper. You're inside the stomach of Arsenal Gear. To answer your other question, my troops found you unconscious outside of Arsenal's hatch. It appears your so-called allies betrayed you and left you to die. But don't fret. Not all was lost on your mission. Those hostages you were supposed to rescue managed to safely escape Big Shell before Arsenal Gear's launch destroyed it. Oh, it's just a shame. All your efforts have merely delayed the inevitable. In one hour, we will demonstrate the full power of Arsenal Gear. And finally, the Patriots will be brought to their knees. Solidus, what, what have you done to me? Me? Why, I've done you a great service, boy. For years, the Patriots cultivated your dissociative amnesia using drugs, brainwashing, and synaptic nano-manipulation. I'm merely unlocking the doors in your mind. Giving you back your long-lost childhood memories. Yes, I can see it in your eyes. You're beginning to remember it now. The late 80s, the Liberian Civil War. You were one of my best child soldiers then. Your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. The sad fact is, you were too good. Your bloody exploits caught the attention of my erstwhile employers back home. The Patriots. It wasn't long before their agents stole you away from me. All that work, all that time I invested in raising you after your parents were killed. Gone in an instant. But why are you doing this? Why restore my memories now? Well, I could say it's because I'm a compassionate human being. And that I care about your well-being. But the truth is, I'm searching for something. A small piece of data tucked away within the recesses of your mind. And I'll eventually find it. But for now, I think you've endured enough mental stress. I don't want to overcook that mushy brain of yours... yet. So for the intermission, I leave you in Ocelot's capable hands. A pleasure, as always. What is this nostalgic feeling I have right now? Deja vu? It's almost as if I'm lost in the memory of Shadow Moses. You know, Snake was quite strong back then. He took everything I threw at him, and more. I wonder, will history say the same about you? Let's find out. Ocelot, allow me a lucid moment with the prisoner before you damage him irrevocably. A foul wind is blowing. Conserve your strength. You'll need it when I return. Do not move. We are being monitored. Switch over to nano-communication. 
Olga Gerlukovich. You're the one Snake fought on that tanker two years ago. You're also the ninja. Yes. As I said before, I was sent to provide you support. Support? By knocking me out and handing me over to the enemy? How else were you going to get inside Arsenal gear? Who sent you? The Colonel? No, I was sent by the Patriots. The Patriots? But why? Why? I'll tell you why. The bastards are holding my child hostage. I have no choice but to be a part of their damned S3 program. S3 program? What exactly is... Hush and listen. My role was to assist you. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, your mission is a failure. Which would in turn mean my mission is a failure. So you see, my child's life depends on your success. Then get me out of this thing. I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. This door heads to a hangar. Your gear will be waiting for you there. So how the hell do I destroy Arsenal gear? Will the virus we planted do the job? No. You damaged Arsenal's AI. But it's impossible to completely destroy this thing. Your only other option is to stop Solidus and his men from using it. And what are you gonna do? Whatever is necessary to save my child. Brace yourself. <coughs> Patriot scum. Oh. I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. Raiden, do you copy? Colonel, I've lost all my gear. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Intact, huh? Seems to me there are only two parties that would want Arsenal gear intact, and Solidus is one of them. What do you mean? Damn, more guards. This is gonna be tougher than I thought. Colonel, what do you know about the Patriots? The Patriots? Never mind that. Just focus on your role. That is your mission to take out... My role? What are you talking about? Colonel, are we... Are you under orders from the Patriots? Our... My point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. You know, Colonel? I just remembered something. I've never met you in person. Not once. Colonel? Oh boy. The army of Metal Gear Rays. Here to protect Arsenal from guys like me. Guess it's a good thing I don't look like much of a threat right now. You there! Stop! Oops. Raiden, this is Colonel Roy Campbell, your commanding officer. I order you to complete your mission according to the simulation. Give it a rest. You're not Campbell. Who the hell are you, Neil? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What? Rose? Colonel! Colonel, answer me, you son of a bitch! Kill him! Uh-oh. You should stop all this nonsense, Raiden. I mean, really. This is just a simulation anyway. Your perception isn't reality. Never has been. Where is Rose, Colonel? Put her on! None of this is really happening. My head. So dizzy. What the hell is going on? Whoa. Oh, what the hell was that? Just forget him for now. Gotta keep moving. Right. Listen, something happened last Thursday. 
When I was driving home, you see, I had a couple of miles to go, and I looked up, and I saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east, but it was moving very irregularly. And suddenly, there was intense light all around me. And when I came to, I was home. So what do you think happened to me? You just shut the hell up. You're completely out of your mind. <laughs> Okay, I'm starting to get a little worried about my own sanity now. It's because of what she did, right? That horrible, horrible thing she did. That's why things are going so wrong. What? Colonel, or whoever you are, what are you talking about? Do you mean Rose? Is she... Emma. Emma? Wait a minute. The virus. Arsenal gear. Why did Emma hurt us like that? Jack. Rose, are you okay? Jack, I'm sorry. I had no choice. That will do, Rose. As you can see, right, she's unharmed for the moment. Colonel, or whatever it is you are, you'd better not touch a hair on her head. Sorry to inform you but you're in no position to be making demands. We've been patient long enough. It's time to fulfill the destiny we've laid out for you. Carry out S3. Or Rose dies. Wait! You have to tell me what S3 is! Rose! I worry about you, kid. I leave you alone for just a few hours, and already you're buck naked and mumbling to yourself. Snake! Bastard! You hung me out to dry! Don't you get uppity with me, kid. You lied to me, knocked me unconscious, and left me to be tortured to death! I'll give you up, Eddie, you manipulative son of a... Enough. Now, control yourself or I'll put you down for good. Look, I had no choice. Using you as bait was the only way to gain access to Arsenal. Here's your gear. Now put on your suit before you catch cold. Or I get nauseous. It took me and Otacon a while to figure it out, but we finally know what your story is, kid. Don't bother. Solidus already told me. The Patriots have been using Arsenal's supercomputer to mess with my head. I'm afraid so. Arsenal was most likely stimulating activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nanomachines. The kernel was just part of your own creation, cobbled together from expectation and experience. So, Campbell doesn't exist at all. Oh, he exists, but he retired shortly after the Shadow Moses incident. Your colonel, however, is just a figment of yours in the Patriots' imagination. You know, I think the virus Emma put into Arsenal's system is actually starting to affect it. What do you mean? The fake colonel, I mean Arsenal's AI, was displaying really bizarre behavior and blamed Emma for harming it. Maybe so, but we don't have time to wait for the virus to finish the job. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we have to stop it before it gets there, one way or another. Here, you'll need this Stinger missile launcher. There's a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? 25, according to Olga. 25? Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before, but I think we can deal. Come on, Snake. There's no way that we can deal. Wrong. We can, because we have no other choice. Father. Mother. My whole family. 
And now, Vamp. The list just goes on and on, just like my cursed existence. Forget the plans. Forget Arsenal. It doesn't matter anymore. Everyone I've ever loved is gone, and it's all because of me. Fortune, respond. What? What the hell do you want, Solidus? I'm busy. Oh, very well. Go back to whatever it is you think is more important. I'll just deal with Snake myself. Hold! I'm on my way. Don't touch him. Don't even breathe on him. His ass is mine. You ready? Wait a sec. I almost forgot. Olga wanted you to have it. Said you could make better use of it than she or I could. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? You never asked. Ready? <laughs> Too quiet. Not anymore! Tengu Commandos, the elite arsenal unit Olga told me about. Damn. This could get ugly. Stay back to back. Keep them in front of you at all times. Jack, stop! What the hell? This VR simulation is over, Raiden. Stand down. That's an order. Oh, you're not the Colonel. This is just Arsenal gear, screwing with my head again. Oh, really? Fair enough. I won't argue with you over whether you think I'm real or not. But can you honestly say the same about Rose? The woman you love. Someone you've actually seen, smelled, touched. Are you going to tell me she's not real? Rose? Oh, God. Rose, don't tell me you're working with... Jack, I owe you an explanation and an apology. This isn't easy, but it's time you finally knew. Since we met, I've been under orders to keep an eye on you. An eye on me? So you're a spy? For who? No, no, let me guess. The Patriots, right? Uh... <sighs> Can't say I'm surprised by anything at this point. Tell me, was sleeping with me part of the job too? I... It's not that simple. As time went on and we grew closer, things changed. I changed. Don't. Jack, I fell in love with you. Shut up! I don't want to hear this bullshit. You reported every detail of my personal life to those bastards for the last two years. Our entire relationship is just a mockery born out of deceit. And there's nothing you can say now that will change that. I'm pregnant. It's yours. <sighs> What's the matter, Jack? If this isn't real, then why do you have that stupid look on your face? Stop out of it, soldier! Snap out of it or we're both dead! Huh? Holy shit! Ugh. There's too many of them! Stop! All of you stand down! Snake! Fortune. You and I. 
We have unfinished business. Sorry, kid. Looks like she's into me more. You better go on without me. What the hell do you think you're gonna do? Bullets can't even get near her! I'll think of something. I don't believe in witches. Snake! I Get the hell out of here! Go! I don't pretend to know what you've been through, sweetheart. But let's get one thing perfectly clear. I didn't kill your father. Do you think anyone believes your lies anymore? You consigned me to hell when you murdered him. Everyone I love has been taken from me, one by one. And no matter how hard I try, I can't follow them. An eternal nightmare. The only thing I live for is to see it end. Right, go! Now! Finally, just the two of us. Saladus! I've been watching you fight. Watching you kill. It reminds me of the good old days. Why don't you come closer? I'll give you a first-hand reminder. Now, now. All in good time, my boy. All in good time. You know, it didn't come as a complete surprise when Ocelot discovered the S3 experiment the Patriots were implementing. Not a bad idea, you know. Using fire to fight fire. Creating the perfect assassin to retire Solid Snake's brother. You see, Jackie boy. S3 stands for Solid Snake Simulation. It's a development program aimed at artificially reproducing Solid Snake, the perfect warrior. Creating a Foxhound commando when Foxhound no longer exists. A simulated Solid Snake shaped by a VR regiment. Sound like someone you know, Jack. I'm sad to see you reduced to one of the Patriot's puppets. But I still manage to make use of you. And their plan, too. Solid Snake's sudden appearance. Your arrival. It was obvious from the get-go. The Patriots were among my ranks. I had to smoke out the agent before the mission entered its final phase. And you came in quite handy. As bait. No more games, Raiden. At least now you know. Sadly, there's just no point in keeping you alive anymore. An autopsy of your brain should prove sufficient to retrieve the data I'm looking for. At least I've given you a worthy opponent. But now, you should die as the little Jackie boy I once knew. You can't run forever, Jack. You'll have to stand and fight eventually. You wanna fight? Then let's do it! Just you and me! Don't draw me into this, boy. I am Caesar, and you are my gladiator. Now, get on with it. Entertain me with an amusing death. Bastard may get his wish. Mm. Oh, stuck!
Idiotic machines! Watch your fire! Come on! Come on! Bravo, Ripper! Bravo! Using the rays against each other. Masterful improvisation under seemingly hopeless circumstances. I'm sure your little patriot puppet masters would be so proud. But while that tactic works splendidly against three Metal Gear rays, I'm afraid it just won't cut it against five. <sighs> Give me a break. Sorry if this seems unfair, Jack, but then, when is life ever fair? Consider this my last lesson from father to son. Now kill that little bastard once and for all! No! Stand back! Olga! So! Finally decided to show your true colors, eh? Don't do this! They'll know! I'll hold the rays off, give you time to get away. What the hell are you doing? This is suicide! Your nanomachines. They're transmitting your vital signs to the Patriots. Don't you get it? If you die, my child dies. I see. So... Olga, that's why you sold your father's troops out to me. All because the Patriots wanted you to infiltrate my organization. So many dead. And they all died trusting you. Weren't they your comrades? Not just comrades. Family! I may be destined for hell, but at least I went down fighting for my child's life. Such determination. Such fatalism. I'll be more than happy to accommodate your travel plans. Uh, no! Uh, uh, Olga! When you arrive, give my best to your father. Uh. Now, now. Don't be rude, boy. I'll be with you in a minute. You... must... live! Uh. No. Poor, poor Olga. But that's what happens when you get mixed up with the wrong people. Believe me, I know. And you, Ripper, really should know better. Huh? What's going on? What's happening to the rays? Oh! Damn it, Ocelot! What the hell is wrong with my rays? The AI, Arsenal Gear, is out of control. What? I'm reading an abnormal impulse cascade throughout the neural network. I can't shut it down. I think Arsenal might be infected with some kind of Virus. Oh, the Patriots! Ocelot, what the hell have you been up to? It's too late! Arsenal is on an emergency ascent course to the river's surface! Damn it! Stupid, useless machines! Let them destroy themselves! Relax, boy. I'm not going to kill you yet. But I'm afraid I'm going to need that data a little sooner than I anticipated. Now don't move. 
This will only hurt for- Solida. Oh, for God's sake! What the hell is it now? I've captured Snake. Fine. Bring him and meet me topside arsenal gear immediately. Our plans have changed. Looks like you get a temporary reprieve, Vicar. Nighty night. <sighs> What is the meaning of this? Why are we meeting outside Arsenal gear? Emmerich's damn virus has corrupted the AI. Until repaired, Arsenal gear is totally compromised and unreliable. Which means, Fortune, your transparent scheme to hijack Arsenal gear away from me has failed. What? What are you talking about? Oh, please. Drop the tiresome pretense. I've known from the very beginning what your true intentions were. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. You can have that damn thing. But why? Arsenal is far from impregnable. It requires an armada of Metal Gear rays for protection, a huge payload of warheads, and full military support just to function at minimum efficiency. Against a large attack force, this thing is nothing more than a gigantic coffin. Well, if you never wanted Arsenal, then what the hell was your objective? A list of names. Of the Patriots! Once I learned of the Patriots' plan to use Arsenal gear to control the world, I was sure the list of the highest 12 members of their Wiseman's Committee had to be somewhere inside its system. And once you found out who they were, you would cross out their names one by one while we, with our useless arsenal, decoyed attention away from you. Very good. But your plan hit a snag when the virus corrupted Arsenal's AI, didn't it? Your precious list was out of reach. Yes, until I realized another way. The Patriot's nanomachines put inside my son's head, containing embedded links to their global network. If I have to, I'll scrape out his skull with a knife to get at that list. How father. Very well. Do what you will, but I'm still taking Arsenal. The purified hydrogen bomb is ready to go. I won't stop you. Best of luck. I've had quite enough of that already. <laughs> and what the hell is so funny, Ocelot? Ah, my dear. I wouldn't even know where to begin. You, him, those two, all of you, simply priceless. But as amusing as this charade has been, I'm afraid I have to cut it short. What are you talking about? Everything that you've done up to this point has been carefully scripted. A little exercise set up by us. All of your lab rats in the Patriots S3 training colonel. An orchestrated recreation of the Shadow Moses incident. You believe S3's only purpose was to make more soldiers like Solid Snake? Oh, it's far more complex than that. <laughs> no. You eagerly swallowed every lie I fed you. Solidus, did you honestly think this little terrorist incident was your own doing? Foxhound and Dead Cell, Liquid and Solidus, the two ninjas, new Metal Gear prototypes, all mere images of Shadow Moses. Did you really think it was all an amazing coincidence? Even Emma Emmerich's computer virus was a digital counterpart of Fox Die. 
We allowed it to corrupt the AI in order to eliminate every scrap of information regarding the Patriots from Arsenal Gear. So you see, Solidus, your plan was invalidated even before execution. But why recreate Shadow Moses? What's the point? Because of Snake. Due to our inability to fully manipulate his actions on Shadow Moses, we felt a recreation of the same incident would be an optimal stress test for the Patriots' new AI. And now that we have all the data we need, we can move forward with our plans. To manipulate people, events, information, to control the world! You know I'll die before I allow that to happen! All this? Everything I've ever done has been orchestrated? All the misfortune? All the lies? <laughs> Murderer! You killed my father! <laughs> You're no Lady Luck. You've only ever possessed what we gave you. Uh, I don't understand. Of course you don't. You know why no bullet could hit you? It wasn't magic or some new age mumbo jumbo. Certainly no ludicrous psychic talent. The whole time you thought you were invulnerable, you were really being shielded by the electromagnetic weapons technology the Patriots had developed. No. I could have died whenever I wanted to. Yes. All that time wasted with your self-indulgent, insufferable whining. You just couldn't get enough of the drama. And so it appears your luck has finally run out. Whereas mine is just getting started. Ah! See what I mean? My ride, just in time. You still with me, kid? Yeah, just getting my bearings. Wait for my signal. When the time is right, we make our move. Don't bother, Solidus. I can put a bullet in your head well before you activate that suit of yours. Ocelot! You traitorous bastard! The exercise is over. All that's left is to clean up the mess. Starting with all of you. Patriot scum! I'll send you to hell for your treachery! Treachery? An ironic indictment, considering the source. Growing weary, Mr. President. You can't deflect everything I said my way. I will not be defeated by your hands, Ocelot. It will take... Huh? What are you... Behind me! Now! Fortune. Idiot. I've already told you. Your luck has run out. Now pay the ultimate price. Metal Gear Ray's entire payroll. Everybody down! Lady Luck. You're a damned fool, Helena. I could have stopped him. No. No. I... I had to know if it was true. 
And now, now I can see them. My family. I'm not sure how she pulled that off, but it matters not. She's dead now. Time to win this once and for... My... his... hand! No, not you. Not now! Much better, thank you, Ocelot. Now it's my turn to steer this ship. Well, well, if it isn't my dear, dear brothers. This family reunion has been far too long in the making. Not again. No, it can't be. Liquid Snake! Ah, oh, yes. I occasionally forget what this vessel looks like. But rest assured, it's me. You were inside Ocelot all along? But how? Sorry, old boy. Trade secret. Just think of me as the ultimate sleeper cell inside the body of a Patriot spy. Just waiting for a special moment like this to wake up. And just so you know, Snake, it was I who leaked Ocelot's arsenal gear intel to Imrit in order to lure you into this mess. You. Yes, after all, your annoying presence is the only thing that can set me free. But I'm afraid we'll all have to get reacquainted some other time. You see, I'm off to bury the Patriots for good! You know where they are. Of course. Why do you think I chose Hathala? And since I can't afford to have bothersome siblings tag along, I've manually activated Arsenal Gear's navigation program to keep you both busy. Arsenal, it's moving! Yes, yes, and its course will take it straight into Manhattan. What? You're gonna crash this thing into New York City? It'll be a full-scale disaster. Disaster? Why do you have to be so bloody negative all the time, Snake? Just think of it as a gigantic surfboard and enjoy the ride. It'll be fun. That is, at least until the inevitable wipeout. No! Ha ha ha! I don't think so, Snake. I'm afraid there's only room for one in here. Patriots. At least I can have the satisfaction of ending both of your misbegotten lives! It's too late. Ah! Oh my god. Just dear old dad. Shut up! You're not my father! You're just a sadistic madman who wants power at any cost! Oh, Jackie boy. After everything I've taught you, how can you still know so little? I wanted to take back from the Patriots things like freedom. 
civil rights, equal opportunities, the founding principles of this once great country. Everything that's about to be wiped out by their digital censorship. And I would have done it too, if not for your meddling. My legacy would have been confirmed. My mark etched in history. A true hero. America's greatest son of liberty! Please! You're no hero. You're a monster! You always have been and always will be. Hmm, perhaps. My clone brothers and I have been called monsters before. Replicates of an evil man's genes. My father, Big Boss. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And if that's the case, then what kind of monster does that make you, my son? I was a child, you abusive piece of crap! You gave me no choice in the matter. Yes. I see that same murderous look in your eyes I saw so long ago. Come, Ripper. Let's see which monster has the privilege of survival here today. Prepare yourself. Oh, and Jack. I was the one who killed your parents. Shut up! I'll cut your tongue out before I hear any more of your lies! I am many things, Jack, but I'm no liar. You think I found you by chance? A dirty little orphan wandering the mean streets of Liberia? No, I'm afraid not, Ripper. You and your parents were caught in a crossfire at the border, trying to flee the country. But it was bad timing. They were in the way of my operation there. So I had them removed. But somehow you survived. So I took you in. Raised you as one of my own. I saved your life, Jack. Saved? You ruined my life! It would have been better for me to die with my family! Ah! Die, you evil son of a bitch! Ugh! Reckless. Out cold, Jackie boy? Properly anesthetized? Good. Because it's high time for that overdue brain surgery I promised. Leave the kid alone. You. No more child abuse. Time to deal with a grown-up for a change. Damn you! I am Big Boss's greatest son! President of the United States! You're nothing but a genetic anomaly. A disgrace! A mistake! Fine with me. I'd rather be a mistake. Than be the one who makes them. Who's reckless now, Mr. President? No! The Patriots! Ah! Oh! My legacy! Raiden. Raiden. I know you're unconscious, but are you still receiving? Can you hear me? Colonel? No, you're not him. You're the Patriots, right? Who are you people, really? Well, to begin with, we're not what you'd call human. We are formless. And so long as this nation exists, 
so will we. What's your agenda? Why this interest in taking away individual freedoms and censoring the net? Right. You seem to think our plan is one of censorship. What we propose is not to control content, but to create context. Just as in genetics, unnecessary information and memory must be filtered out to stimulate the evolution of the species. It's our responsibility as rulers. And what the hell makes you qualified to decide what's necessary and what's not? Accumulated wisdom and experience. Those of your ilk lack the qualifications to exercise free will. Why, you arrogant bastards! You have no right! That's irrelevant now. The S3 exercise is over. We have all the data we need. Farewell for now, Raiden. We'll be watching you closely. We'll be in touch. Wait! Rose, does, does she actually exist? Of course. We released her an hour ago. Just wake up and see. Wake up. Wake up, kid. Ugh. Snake, is it over? It's over. For now. Good. I... Oh no, I forgot! Olga's child, what do we- Don't worry. I'll find her. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive. She's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Cheer up. We have a better lead. This contains a list of all the Patriots. I'll help. No. You have other things to do first. And people you need to talk to. Rose! Jack! Snake, I... Snake? He's gone. What's wrong? N nothing. I just... Rose, can I ask you something? Who am I, really? Honestly, Jack, I don't know. But we're going to find out... together. The Patriots. Rose, I have to know. Are you... No. I was a prisoner. I don't know what lies they told you, but I was never part of any of this. You need to see me for who I am, okay? I will. For you. For our child. Is that a proposal? Snake, are you there? It's Otacon. I've finished going over that Patriot's disc. As expected, it contained the personal data of 12 specific people. There's a name on it that, uh, well... Yeah, spit it out, Hal. Snake, one of the men was our biggest financial contributor. Huh? What's going on? I don't know, Snake. I just don't know. Where are these guys now? Well, we were right about the Wiseman's Committee being stationed in Manhattan, but... But what? Snake, they're already dead. All 12 of them. Dead? When did that happen? Well, uh, you see, that's the kicker. Apparently... They all died about a hundred years ago. What the hell?
I stare at the stars and the sky up above and think, what am I?